Charles Jean Rigolot is remembered as a talented athlete who inherited from his father and grandfather an immense physical strength, with impressive photographs, a long list of world records, half a dozen films with him and a remarkable episode of his life during the Second World War. The natural strength, not multiplied by the usual for our day's sports nutrition and steroids, amazed Charles's contemporaries since his youth. The young Frenchman made little effort to move a machine that two of his average contemporaries could barely move. From the age of 16, after attracting the attention of his coach, Rigolo began to attend a weightlifting section. Having strengthened through training the inherited power of nature, the young athlete in the year of his 21st birthday became an outstanding weightlifter and during the 30s of the last century retained the right to be called the strongest man in the world. Speaking at the 1924 Olympics in the light heavyweight, Charles Rigolo deservedly gets his first gold medal. He followed that up with eight records in a short period of time, surpassing the best weightlifters of the time. Last in the Preteroid era, he won the deadlift over 181 kilograms, the single-handed bench press 118 kilograms and the two-handed dash. Being the strongest man in the world, Charles began to try himself in wrestling, showing in matches the amazing skills and strength. His acting ability, coupled with his immense physical strength and good reaction time, widened the horizons in which he could express himself. Later the young strongman performed in the circus arena, took part in car races, and thanks to the excellent physique and charismatic appearance and manners was invited to participate in five movie productions. One episode that happened to Rigolo during World War II is noteworthy. Not restraining his emotions and losing control of himself, the strongman struck one of Hitler's officers who were in charge of France at the time. When they put Charles behind bars, the Nazis had no idea that such a preventive measure was an unreliable way to disarm the hot-headed weightlifter. By unbending the bars, Charles not only managed to escape himself but also freed his fellow inmates. Later, Rigolo participated in the resistance movement, which, with the support of the Allies, contributed to the liberation of Paris a year before the final fall of the Nazi regime. At the end of the war, Charles Rigolo did not part with sports and took part in the organization of sports events. The champion passed away quite early, before his 60th birthday. His father's sporting character was inherited by one of his daughters, who became a triple champion in figure skating in France.